Hey guys, Hans Schurcha here with XPro Heli. Uh, today we're going to do a quick little overview of the new NASA V2 software. I know it's been a long time coming, but we finally got it dialed in and we have it where we like it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and open up Firefox or whatever browser you want to. We're going to go to djiinnovations.com. I've been there before, so it remembered. It looks like dji.com might work just as well. We're going to go to products and we are going to scroll down to the NASA MV2. We're going to click on that and we're going to go to support and downloads. We're going to click on that and then we'll come over here to the left and we'll click on downloads. And we're going to roll down here to assist software and drivers. Uh, they have a new assist program um, right here. We can download that and then you may need this Windows 8 driver or DJ driver installer which is down here for different operating systems require different things so after you install your software if it's not recognizing that you have something plugged in try to install these drivers first before you do anything else so you can go ahead while you're on the page and come up here to the top and register you're going to be required to have an account with them and set up a username and password when you open up the software for the first time, it's going to ask you to use or enter your username and password to log in. Um, we've already done that, so usually after you do it once, you don't have to do it again. So first off, we're going to go ahead and plug this guy. Well, first off, we took the props off because that is necessary when you're doing this. Um, we want to be safe. No fingers getting chopped off. We're going to go ahead and attach that and we're going to go ahead and attach a battery. You can see that this is lit up green and my computer has given me a beep saying that it recognizes that something's plugged into it. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my V2 software. This is your basic view. This is showing you everything that you have going on here. Um, these are your settings. You can actually change these settings in here, but I recommend going into the basic area. Go to your aircraft, make sure your aircraft is set up to that. Uh, your mounting for your GPS. Um, you want to make sure that that arrow is going forward, not backwards. And I know that a lot of people think it goes backwards because the wire would come off the back on any other thing, but on this one, it goes forward. Um, these are the X and Y, and these are the reasons that you have these numbers over here on your GPS. On the X, we have ours set to negative 8. The Y is set to 8, and the Z is set to negative 1. And where we mount our uh, GPS antenna, that's the correct way to have that. We go to RC, make sure all this stuff works. It's really nice because if you're not sure what something is, you can scroll over it and you can see that there's a description on this side over here that will show you what you're doing or what that's for. Um, one of the things that does help a lot is if you calibrate your sticks. And so um, I would do this every time that you're in here just to have it done. Um, all you do is press the start button. You move your sticks all the way around to the very outside corners. Do that three or four times, center your sticks. It does a little thing. It shows that it's you know done. It's going to ask you to go ahead and power down your quad. So I'm going to unplug it really quick. And we're going to plug it back in. And then here we are. You can see that as I move my sticks, those things are moving around. That's good. Up equals right up equals right and then left and right and left and right so if any of those are backwards you can switch those just by going normal and reverse just click those buttons um, if you don't like flying in manual mode and you don't want that as an option you can change that just by going over here and changing that to the altitude mode so now it's always going to be in altitude mode in that position in the middle position and then gps would be all the way towards you uh, we like to keep ours in manual every once in a while in the wind we'll need to use it and uh, really fly a little more aggressively to get it to what we're trying to get it. So, um, and with the gimbal, you can fly it in altitude mode almost all the time now and be able to get some really amazing video. Um, going into advanced, where you can go into the motors, we have them set to the recommended. Um, this is setting what's gonna happen if you lose control or lose your radio signal. 
we have ours set to go home and land. Um, and then you have your course lock and home lock, which we have disabled because we're using that switch for through a position on our gimbal. You could go into gimbal and if you have a phantom, you can go in here and you can set this up so that it'll work the tilt on our XPG. Uh, voltage we have set to off. Limits we have at 2000 meters is the maximum height that it will go. Okay, so then we have our tools and this is basically going to be a basic calibration or an advanced calibration. If things are not working with your GPS correctly, you want to go into advanced, do an advanced calibration. Sometimes that takes up to like 10 minutes, so uh, I'm not going to do that right now. But the basic cal usually works really fast. This is saying don't touch the controller, don't touch the quad, make sure everything is really still while this is happening. It'll go through and give it a little check mark there saying that it did the basic calibration and everything's okay. Um, and we could go to upgrade if things aren't working right, um, the quad's flying funny, anything's going wrong or weird with it, you can um, reinstall your firmware. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything to do it. It actually will reset a lot of stuff and kind of fix anything that might not be working right. So you can always do that. And then there's really not much you can you or you will need in there in the info. So um, now we've done our calibration. We have all of our settings. One thing I didn't show you is the game controls and these are really important. This is like Jared's testing this thing, you know, flying 12, 14 batteries a day, trying to get these settings right. And you finally dialed them in, so they're amazing. If you set the basic gain, the pitch at 95, the roll at 95, the yaw at 170, and the vertical at 120, if you change these, they, they may show up in red if you if you or you may have to actually hit return so we'll take that and say we want it to be 110 see how it's in red there now it's not going to take that value until i hit enter and then when it turns black then that means that it's it's working right i'm going to set it back to 120 because we know that that's the magic number for the vertical there and then the altitude gain they're both set at 85. so those ones are really important in a way that this thing is going to fly. So we can go back to the view and that's basically the software. It's really super easy to use. Um, if you're not sure what something is, you just hover over it. It'll give you a description, it gives you a description over here in the dialog box. Um, pretty much it really, really does explain things. So you may have to read a little bit, but um, what I'm showing you here is pretty much everything you need to know.